Look, it's still a glorious day. And I'm getting so much work done on this bike, it's unbelievable. What I'm going to do now, as you can see these, is I am going to review, I've just bought these. They are Bike Tech Carburetta Synchronizers. No, this is not a spawn. But um, <clears throat> if you watch my video when I tried to synchronize my valves using the carb tune, there was a lot of fluctuation. So uh, I decided to go and I bought some new ones to see what they're like. Now these were there, I think these were just under 40 quid. Um, and they come with a little valve at the end which allows you to actually stop the fluttering that I had because I had a lot of fluttering which is where it's basically the uh, needle would bounce now they actually come these come in separate boxes to this so they're all in pieces so the first thing you have to do is remove these two screws here okay and then fit it onto the um, metal frame which is what I'm going to do and you have to be very careful when doing this because if you notice they move yeah so you've got to be very careful the whole thing moves inside so you've got to be very careful when doing this Yo, job done. Now, before we get reviewing them, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the notification button, and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Love to hear your comments down in the comment section if you have got anything particularly you use. And the power of video editing, you want to to swing around. Now, the first thing I like about these is they actually fit very nicely there, look, on my um, screen so I can see them. Now, the first thing we have to do is take the fronts of all of these because they're brand new, so they're just unscrewed. So we have to calibrate them, and I'd always recommend that you do this before this start. Now, the beautiful thing is on the VFR, which I need to go to the other side for. So while I'm going around the other side, I'll keep on talking. So the beautiful thing with the VFR is that. Cylinder one on the VFR is a non-adjustable cylinder for the valve. So it's a perfect opportunity to use cylinder one to synchronize them all. Now it's gonna get really loud because I'm about to start the engine. While I unplug that, I'm going to put two over that side, two over that side, and then screw the lids back on because I'm happy. So they're now calibrated, and to be honest with you, I'll probably do that each time I use them. Now, hopefully, I should get a better reading than what I did the last time when I synchronized my actual starter valves before so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to connect all these pipes up with each other so these will be useful if you have obviously a multi-cylinder engine anything from two or above you can buy them just as two, um, but obviously I've got four, so I've got four. You can buy them just as twos. But saying that, for the price of them, it's worth buying, because you only actually need to use two at a time. It's worth buying just in case you do get a multi-cylinder at a later date. Right, so, 
Now, let's see how good these are. So hopefully, these two should be the same. Remember, cylinder one we can't adjust on the VFR. Cylinder two should read the same as cylinder one. And these two should read differently. If I remember rightly, three is minus 20 compared to this, and four is minus 10. It might be the way around. But anyway, let's have a look and see what we've got. Anyway, let's have a look and see what we got. Right, <clears throat> verdict, one, I love the displays, brilliant displays, absolutely great, two, I love the little flutter valves which you can adjust, three, I like the fact that you can calibrate them, and they're very compact as well, um, I'll just keep mine in a computer bag to keep them protected. Downside, the only downside I have is with very minute measurements so for example um, on cylinder 4 I have to be minus 10 on compared to this one so um, the measurement I'm going by is actually on the inside which is milligrams of mercury on the vacuum so if you look there it says milligrams of mercury which is what I need so if I'm 200 uh, you go 200 to 300 so that's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8 and then 300 so 220 230 240 not even that actually so the inside measurements one two three four there's only four so that's a hundred twenty forty sixty so they're not even that's not even so that's my only downside is the measurements inside the very is this this there's not a lot of room for minute adjustments whereas um, Probably a digital one would be better, but saying that though, if you want to balance your carbs and get a nice balance, and you can use obviously the outside. I think what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to convert because I've got some of the bits that I need to do to her anyway, and this is only just to test these out. So, what I'm going to probably do is convert milligrams of mercury into vacuum inches and go with vacuum inches and see how much of a difference that makes. But the displays are nice, uh, and for like 40 quid, to be quite honest with you gets a thumbs up from me definitely worth getting if it's something that you want to actually um, be doing on your own bike and um, keeping your bike in tip-top condition thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it any comments comment section down below and I'll catch you the next time cheerio